Hey everybody, welcome back to Otaku Pandering. This is the second video in the series. If you haven't checked out the first video, which was all about betting, feel free to click the link in the description below or just follow the playlist that I've conveniently created for all of you. Now, I'll be adding more parts to that betting later as well as this one, but I want to keep the variety fresh, so I've decided to move on to the next part of the series, which is all about otaku clothing. Now, before I get into this topic, uh, what I'll be showing you here today is my personal collection for the items I own. And if you ask the question, do I wear this in public? Yes, the answer is absolutely 100% yes. Uh, one of the things when it comes to representing this hobby in public is some people aren't comfortable doing so. I get it. Some people in this hobby, actually most people in this hobby, I'd say about 80% of people, are introverts. They're not very socially inept and don't really like talking to a lot of individuals. That's completely understandable. I'm not here to judge, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's just that some people are just uncomfortable sharing this hobby with other people. They're more closet otaku, and that's 100% understandable. But I just want to let you know on my YouTube channel that you are welcome here, and there's nothing you need to be afraid of, and don't feel ashamed to share anything you want. If you don't want to share it in the comment section publicly, then feel free to message me privately. I'm more than willing to talk to anything. Well, talk about anything with you, really. I... Don't judge people. I don't think anyone really should because there's enough hate on the internet and everybody kind of hates everything, so don't worry about it. Just be yourself in my channel and don't be afraid. If you are a lolicon, if you are somebody that's into a lot of weird fetishes, don't worry about it. I've been to Japan, I've been here in the West, and I live in America. I've seen enough of each country that I can fairly say that our cultural differences are very, very different when it comes to pornography and the idea behind... Uh, animation versus you know real life so it's uh, there's a lot of different varieties and, and, and this video is not about going into this huge lecture for it so for the most part I just want you to enjoy it and have fun so why don't we start mainly I'm going to be focusing on clothing now I'm not going to go through every order maybe in future parts I'll put in some of the items that I still have coming in the coming months most of them from Cosba I've gotten a lot of these t-shirts everywhere from Kamiket to Cosba to Volks and the strip of Akihabara I've gotten them at Radio KaiCon, everywhere you can possibly think of. A lot of comic head t-shirts. And some of these are really awesome, and some of these are more official artwork. Now, the first kind of items I'll be talking about here today are Cospa items. I'll talk a little bit about the price and how Cospa items are very easy to find because you can go to their actual website and you can order a lot of their online official artwork t-shirts. Now, when it comes to official artwork, these t-shirts are pretty comfortable, and these, well, Clothing items are very comfortable. Uh, most of the time they sell parkas or hoodies and also t-shirts for the majority of the part. In fact, every single one of these is mainly a t-shirt or parka, unless it was a cosplay item that I purchased that I just wanted to buy because I thought it was cool. For the most part, though, uh, these items can get quite expensive, especially when they come to cosplay items. When it comes to official anime merchandise, you're really buying the copyrights, so you're ending up paying a lot of like 60 to, well, 50 to 60 dollars for a t-shirt. Now, most of the time, you can go to a Target store or any kind of, like, convenience store, if, you know, whatever other stores you have, Uniqlo 1 um, in Japan, and pay, you know, 10 bucks, 1,000 yen for a t-shirt, and just a regular t-shirt or graphic t-shirt, which is generic. These ones are a lot more expensive because they're custom-made. Well, in a point that they're custom-made that you're really paying for the license of the, well, you're really paying for the copyright. Obviously, if you have a contact collection t-shirt that's a very famous character, it's probably going to be more than an obscure VN or anime you've never heard of. Pretty typical. Especially when you go to Comic Cat and you buy a Circle Artist t-shirt, then you're paying about 7,000 to 8,000 yen. And some of it can get quite expensive. Some of them are cheaper, but for the most part, if it's a very famous Circle Artist, good luck. Because those items can go for quite a large sum of money. But I'll kind of be discussing everything with you here today, from cosplay items to cosplay items to Comic Cat items to Circle Artist to anything you could possibly imagine. And I'll start off with the cosplay stuff. So... These are usually official t-shirts, and some people aren't comfortable wearing these. And before you ask, and you say, hey, Ren, do you wear this stuff in public? Absolutely, I wear this stuff in public. I have absolutely no shame in it. I have tattoos of Paper Mario and VN characters on my arm. I have a Saigo Saharka tattoo on my arm. I have an Adventure Time tattoo on my arm. I have a Shiotori Mizua from g Center no Mao, one of my favorite characters of all time. I have a Minda tattoo. I have pretty much like the definition of nerd on me right now so I'm not really ashamed about it I don't really care I think it's much more interesting because some of the reactions you get from people especially the people that are interested that say I really like your tattoos or that's a really awesome t-shirt you meet some pretty cool people in the world and you can meet some pretty awesome friends so I highly recommend it if you're a little more comfortable with it um, especially when you get older it doesn't really bother you as much anymore you're not in high school anymore you're not little dramatic kids running around and once you get out of college well, if you do go to college then it really doesn't bother you anymore, so everybody's different, though. I understand that, so don't worry about it. Why don't we start with some cosplay items? 
And why not theme it to what the betting uh, items here, Kuro, one of my favorite characters of all time, has. Uh, I picked up this uh, Prisma Ilia t-shirt from oh, Prisma Ilia, it's of Kuro. And it's a black one. And for the most part, this is a large size. Now, when it comes to Japanese sizes, especially for me, I'm about 6'3", 193 centimeters tall. I usually will buy larges. When it comes to Japanese items, because Japanese people are a lot smaller, if you're from America, I highly recommend at least getting one size more than what you normally get. If you get a small, get a medium. If you get a medium, get a large. If you get a large, get an extra large. If you get an extra large, well, get the biggest size you possibly can, probably. Uh, everybody is different, though. Uh, the thing about when you buy these items, especially from Volks or from anywhere, Yami um, make sure you are ordering the correct item because they do not allow refunds. They even state that when you go to Volks. If you don't speak Japanese, that make sure you're buying the correct size. They will even ask you before you ring up your purchase, are you 100% sure you bought the correct size? Because you'll find out that some of the stuff is cotton. It does shrink in the wash a little bit, and if it doesn't fit you anymore, you're not going to be having a good time. So make sure you choose the correct size when it comes to that. Most of them are unisex. There's no male, there's no female. Although some female t-shirts do exist, and you can definitely tell because they're shaped more towards female waist size. But for the most part, it's just unisex. You can use it for whatever size it may be. I think there might be extra smalls as well. Yeah, I've seen a couple extra smalls when it comes to things, but most of the time it's a small, medium, large, and then you have extra large. I think there's XXL. I don't really know, though. It's been a while. I usually just buy larges because I'm more on the safe side because I know it will shrink. And large is... Much like a medium, most of the time I can actually wear unisex small because my body's well, thin enough for that, but everybody's different. So just make sure you're getting the right size. That's my main thing here. So this one is a Kuro t-shirt, and it's black. They had one of each of these characters when it was up. Uh, this is on pre-order again for Amiami. This is about, uh, I think it's 5,000 yen I paid for it. I got it from a gentleman in Britain, and then I noticed they were pre-ordering again. But I didn't really want to wait that long, so I was like, yeah, pff, screw that. It's just the official artwork as normal, and it's a Cospa t-shirt. Now, one thing I don't like about Japanese t-shirts when it comes from Cospa is their tags are huge. And you don't want to rip them off because they'll rip part of the shirt. But the tag size they have is absolutely enormous, and it always sticks out, and it never stays down. It's not annoying to the point that you'll notice it, but it's just really bothersome because they're really big tags. And moving on, we have another Cospa t-shirt, and here is a perfect example. Uh, this one being from... Uh, uh, Gochumon, uh, but it's just the size of these tags are so large that it's just really annoying. Uh, this one's a Chino t-shirt. Now, as you can tell, you'll probably notice that I actually buy a lot of Lolly t-shirts. I don't know why, but I never really buy Lolly merchandise, per se. Well, okay, I lied. The dockies that you saw in the previous video, I guess. <laughs> Interestingly enough, most of my figures, I don't have a single... Well, I don't have a single lewd... I hate that word. I don't have a single borderline inappropriate lolly figure i'm never really into that kind of stuff but for some reason i like getting the uh more bed sheets docking macro and sometimes the um t-shirts when it comes to that but i like chino she's a cute character so that's why i already owned two chino docking macros of course but they're the most expensive thing in the world we saw in the previous video but anyways uh this one's chino i like this one um i usually wear this one quite a lot um she's very adorable and the white t-shirt's nice so i recommend it and moving on, this one was a mistake of me buying something too small. It's a medium, but it's a little bit on the small side because of the shrinking. This is a Shimikaze one. Now, they did resell this, and I actually got this before it went on pre-order, which is quite hilarious. Um, this is from the anime version of Shimikaze. It still works, and it still fits, but it's a lot uh, smaller than I want it to be, so um, just make sure you get the right size. That's really my main point here. That's in the camera? Yeah. So this is Shimikaze one, and uh, I like Shimikaze. But this one, I realized that after getting this, it was a little on the small side. That one's also a Cosba. Yeah. I got this when I was in Japan, I believe. Yes, I did not pre-order this. I got this from uh, Volks. That one was from Volks. Again, for most of those T-shirts, sorry for not telling you, they're about 5,000, 6,000 yen. In fact, every one of these T-shirts that I'm going to show you is probably about 5,000, 6,000 yen. This T-shirt I 100% picked up when I was in Japan. I got it at Kotobukiya, actually. I like that one. It's the uh, Akatsuchi, Inazuma, Ikatsuchi, and Hibiki, the whole crew right there. And that one's a nice t-shirt. This one's also medium, I believe. Yes, so it's a little more on the small side, but it gets the job done. Um, just be really careful what your size is. I like the four girls. 
just waiting on that Godzuchi's figure, as you may have seen in other videos of mine. And I also picked up, now this one's not Cospod, this one was about, I want to say, 3,000 yen. I picked this up at Animate when I was in Japan. And this one's a show by Rock One. It's one of the first ones I ever picked up. Now this one's actually a plastered on item, but I got it from Animate. It was about 2,000, I'd say, 1,000 yen. Kind of wish it was of the official girls, but that's fine. It's the hard plastic, so it stays on there. This one's a medium as well. Uh, back when Show by Rock was pretty cool. This was about the time I was on a website doing a bunch of uh, Show by Rock stuff. And so I got that one as well. Then we move into the uh, larger t-shirts. Some more Cospa stuff here. These are all Cospa, aren't they? Yeah. This one's Cospa too. Even this hoodie is Cospa. Okay, not hoodie. Polo. I have a polo too. All right, first one here is another Chino. Uh, and this one is a large, I want to say. Yes, it is. Just looks smaller. There's another Chino. It's a cheerleader one. I don't know. I wear this one too. Very cute. Very nice t-shirt. And this one over here. We have a, a Matsukaze. Because she's the best fleet girl. Everyone knows. Again, these are all about 5,000, 6,000 yen. There's really not a price difference, so... Some are 4000 maybe on sales. It's about anywhere from 40 to 60 bucks, just without shipping. So somewhere in that price range. This one is more recent. You may have seen me wearing this in video. Uh, official Shimakaze one. Especially like the shininess on these. They're really cool. Yeah. That's Shimakaze one. And then we have a polo this time. Still from Cospa. But this polo is... Got the little, uh, you may know that as the fleet girl, well, the ship, battleship girl, the, the enemies of Conkle, and then it's that chick. It's just kind of embedded on there. I like this polo. It's a nice polo. It, it uh, gets the job done. It's a nice little polo I wear, so. The sad part is most of the stuff's on the back, so you don't get a seedy, cute little face of Tenryu or whatever his name is, or whatever, I don't remember that girl's name. Whatever. And then this last item was also not from Cospa. This is actually what you'd expect out of Comic Cat. These t-shirts, and this is a Gochumon one, are actually made out of like polyester. So they have like the athletic uh, breathing holes in them, as you can see in the camera there. Now, this is what you'll actually get Comic Cat artist t-shirts like, especially when you go to Radio Kaikon, except they're about 9,000 yen when you buy them back. Some are over 12,000 yen because of the rarity in the circle artist. So be careful when you're buying those, especially in Radio Kaikon and on the strip, um, the, the buyback price from Comic Cat. Otherwise, a lot of these t-shirts at Comic Cat are probably about 5,000 to 6,000 yen. And it comes with a little package deal. You usually get a t-shirt. You can buy a little goodie bag, which has a bunch of little things in it. So it's always at the main booths on the fourth floor of Comic Cat, or third floor of Comic Cat, sorry. This one is one I just wrote off on me. I mean, it was about 5,000, 6,000 yen. And it's a Chino in that Cyru or whatever name is i've never seen the show so i don't know uh, they're kind of cute uh, but this one is definitely a more like loose jersey fitting material it's not an actual t-shirt material so yeah moving on then we have hoodies now hoodies are about six thousand yen to about i'd say uh, seven thousand yen depending on the hoodie this hoodie right here cost me over fifteen hundred yen sorry not fifteen hundred yen fifteen thousand yen uh, this is one that was from a circle artist, and this I actually ordered at Comic Cat. Um, well, it was it was um, Bjarni or whatever her name is. This is a Hibiki symbol right there, and then the back you actually have Hibiki herself from that circle artist. And I forgot Milk Bar. Milk Bar was the uh, group that did that. And I like that one. It's Bjarni, and it was from Milk Bar. So. Um, she did um, a lot of this uh, art. I ordered this. This was rare. This is a large, so it's a lot more. It's pretty huge. It's a comfy size one, but that one was probably the most expensive, about 15000 Don't think there's any more of those. I also ordered some hoodies from Volks. I'll kind of do a double. Actually, a, yeah, a double hoodie here. These two were from Volks. I think you've seen this in a previous unboxing video of mine if you follow my channel. Shimakaze. It's a nice size hoodie. Um, it's pretty comfy, actually, in terms of uh, size, too. 
And it, yeah, so that one's pretty comfy gray. You can actually see it. This one is the uh, Fleet Girls again. But you can barely see. I got this one from Volks. You can barely see them on the back of there, but uh, it's a uh, zip up. It's a little thinner of the hoodie. So, um, but it gets, you know, it's nice. It's This one is from Cospa as well. But it's not as thick as the Shimikaze one. This one, the blue one, maybe maybe blue is about 6,000 yen. This one is about 6,000 yen, but this is a lot thicker. I like that one a little bit more, to be honest. And then kind of moving along here and wrapping up with a couple other stuff here. Before we get into the cosplay stuff is a Comicette hoodie. This one I actually got from the Alcana booth. Now, y'all know I'm a huge fan of Alcana, so I ended up purchasing the actual hoodie. Rhythm. Sadly, it was just the official girls on the back. Just designed. But uh, it's got Sprite's logo on there. I mean, it's it's a nice hoodie, I guess. There's nothing wrong with it. And it's pretty thick. This one has really tight sleeves, though. This one was about 4,000 yen, actually, because it was uh, cheaper when you bought it at Comic Cat. And then finally, I have a cosplay item here. It came with a... Uh, well, no, it actually just came with this. Or did it come with a, a collared shirt? No, it did not. It just came with a sweater vest. This is the To Love Rue Darkness sweater vest. I use this, actually, because it's really comfy. Um, as you can tell, it's kind of, like, small. But it actually, once you get the folds out of it, it does fit. This is the same uh, outfit that uh, the girls wear at the um, school. I've never seen the show. Um, it's their school uniform one. So I use this uh, because it's really comfy, and I like sweater vests, and it actually fits perfectly. I have some Converse shoes that actually have these same colored stripes, and it's like, it works perfectly. It's got that cream vanilla color, and then it kind of moves around like that. And then finally, the last item here is another cosplay. Now that hoodie cost about 10,000 yen, because it came with a bow tie as well. When it comes to cosplay items, you're paying a lot of money. Yes, you are. Absolutely tons of money. So... Be careful. In fact, this last item is an entire Love Live uniform. And this one I don't wear. I don't wear the Love Live uniform. Uh, I actually am getting a mannequin that I'm going to display the item on and put it in the corner of my room. Um, you know, like one of those, not real mannequins, but like they're just like the pole where you can like put a jacket around and you can kind of put it on that. That's basically what I'm doing with this. But I do own a Love Live uniform as well. Um, for some reason it was an XL, but this barely fits me. Now, there's the skirt. Uh, it comes with the collared shirt, um, which also barely fits me because these are all female size. The collared shirt. And then I got all the bow ties as well, um, which I can show you the bow ties here. And then, of course, the Love Live jacket. So it comes with a full uniform. Now, the thing of this is, is that this is a really good display item, especially. I, I love it as a display item because... Uh, you could just kind of like fold it up like this and then put it on like a mannequin so the whole thing's assembled and just put it in the corner room. Um, I thought that was kind of a cool idea just to add some flavor to my room. So I decided to do it. But for the most part, guys, that's about it when it comes to clothing. Um, I'll show you some pictures of the bow ties in the description box when I upload this. So feel free to check those out. I do apologize for my previous video. I'm still working on getting those links because I have to go back and find out what the prices are and see if any are up online because not every time you'll find these items, especially if they're... Um, you know, rarer items that you have to hunt for. But for the most part, I'll try my best to put those up there. So thanks, guys, for joining me in this video. Really appreciate it. And hopefully, if this is a series you really like, I still want to do more of these. So we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.